this is uh, an event that I have uh, Got this. tried to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> tried to get off the ground for two years now. I really felt strongly that this was an event that needed to come to simple County. Recent study shows that over 50% of Canadians will not need a meal prepared by someone with HIV. Absolutely ridiculous, antiquated fears that uh, we need to, to smash, and we do that by educating people. With, uh, my amazing group of folks that are with HIV behind me, um, all folks local living here in Simcoe County, I really hope we're able to do that, raise that awareness. I've been living with HIV since February of 2015, so um, the night of our event, it'll be five days away from, uh, from my five-year anniversary. Um, and as I've always said, I've considered myself an HIV baby, being diagnosed in, in 2015 at a time where there were medications available to allow me to get healthy very quickly and live a normal life without any of the, uh, the worries associated with uh, what an early diagnosis of HIV was for folks living in, um, in the, the late 80s, early, early 90s, before antiretroviral meds. Uh, and I felt, because of sort of that timing, um, I had an obligation um, and almost a calling to be able to talk about the fact that I am someone living with HIV and to normalize it. This is just an amazing thing to be a part of. It was, um, I had the privilege of being one of the chefs at June's the first time this was done in the world, and this is the, the second. And I'm so pleased that it's uh, here where I live in Simcoe County. Simcoe County needs to hear this message. Cooking a meal with um, fellow um, HIV positive individuals and then to share it with the community and have those conversations at that table that we can smash stigma around HIV and that um, it's important to have those conversations. You know, it's all about smashing stigma. We just need to bring the awareness out there of um, where we are today with the science um, surrounding HIV and uh, we need to get that information out there. Be My HIV Valentine to me means um, taking on something that is important, that is taking on an advocacy, uh, um, something that's affecting marginalized individuals that I feel are for me some of the greatest work that I'm doing in my life. I'm honored and proud to stand with each and every one of um, my HIV cooks that I'm working with today. And these are, you know, not just, you know, they're not just living with HIV, they are striving in their efforts in pursuits of what they're doing and what they believe is the most important work in their life. That's finding their voice, finding their identity. Again, the idea of being able to, um, to share the truth and educate folks around what it means to live with HIV and the fact what it means to be undetectable or have a suppressed viral load um, goes a long way to helping dismantle that stigma as well as an event like this. Be My HIV Valentine is, uh, is a great way to combine that, that message of smashing stigma um, around the message of love because that's what ultimately we're all, we're all searching for. Mm -hmm.